Well, uh, the interesting part about this is there aren't any huge, big, bombastic sections in the piece. Fauri conceived of the work as um, sort of a lullaby of death, sort of a gentle acceptance um, of, you know, this impending reality for us all. So there aren't any huge sections in it like the Berliot, Berliot's Requiem or the Verdi Requiem that we did in the last season. This is just more of a peaceful acceptance. The Brahms Requiem sort of forged a new path in that Brahms threw away the liturgy and employed whatever text that he wanted to to talk about his view of death. Faure took it a slightly different direction and he used the liturgy, but he left out things that he didn't agree with or that sort of were contrary to his image of peace. There's nothing about damnation in this piece. There's nothing about hell. It just talks about um, things for all of us, all of humanity, not Christians, not Jews, not any other religion. This is a universal proclamation of peace approaching death. On April 6th and 7th, the Alabama Symphony Orchestra Chorus is performing the Faure Requiem.